Hey guys, we are being asked to order these decimals from least to greatest, okay? And it can be a little confusing when some have two numbers behind the decimal, some have one, some have three, right? It can get a little confusing. So let me show you, oh, sorry, I just kicked the thing. Let me show you what I think is the easiest way to do this, okay? I like to take these numbers and list them the tall way. I don't know, vertical, that, that's the word, vertical. Um, lining up the decimals, so I have 4.12, 4.1, 1, 4, 4.114, 1, 4.11, and 4.121. Okay, then I like to make them all have the same number of numbers behind the decimal point. Okay, how can I do that? Well, we can add a zero. Okay, because 4.1 is the same as 4.10, right? I can add as many zeros after the numbers stop, okay? So the most has three, so I'm gonna make them each have three by adding zeros, okay? Now, it's probably a lot easier to tell which one is the biggest, right, and the smallest. So we can kind of ignore the four because we know they're all fours. So we're just looking at what's behind the decimal place now. So what is my smallest one? Well, the smallest one would be the 4.1, right? We can think of this as 100 and that's lower than all the other numbers, right? So I'm going to write 4.1. I'm just going to write it as the 4.1 down here. But remember, it's the same as that one. Okay, I'm going to cross it out. What is the next smallest? Well, it is the 110, right? 4.11. Okay. What one is next? The 114. And then we have our 4.12 and our 4.121. Okay, so there are all those, fra not fractions, oh my gosh, all those decimals <laughs> written from least to greatest. Hopefully that made sense. Thanks, bye.